Hello everyone and welcome to the first episode in many I hope of Minecraft Modern for Beginners and today I'm basically just going to be showing you how to set up Minecraft Coder Pack which is the program we're going to be using to produce the mods for Minecraft so the first thing is you'll need is probably a Java editing program you can choose from many as a clips notepad if you want but I do prefer Eclipse but today I'm just going to be using Edit Rocket because it's a simpler thing to download, doesn't take as much time and it's really less complicated so it'll help you guys learn along. Now the second thing you'll need is the Minecraft Coder Pack itself, there's a link in the description for you to download that. And then the third thing you'll need which is probably the most important is Minecraft. Now you should all have this but if you don't then just go get it if you want but if you don't want to get it then it's up to you really isn't it. So once you've downloaded Minecraft Coder Pack, what you want to do is you want to set up a well a folder on your desktop called MCP, which is the shock for Minecraft Coder Pack, and you want to extract all your files from Minecraft Coder Pack into this folder. So you should end up with something like this. Now, if you're on Windows, I would recommend you go down and just highlight all the .sh files and simply delete them like this it's just because they're only for people who are on the Mac so it's a lot easier if you just delete them so it doesn't confuse you as much so the first step in Minecraft Coder Pack is we need to start decompiling but you can't do that until you've actually got your Minecraft jar and things so you want to open up your start menu and search in the search bar percent sign appdata percent sign and then just press enter and then you have to go into dot minecraft and now normally you go through bin and select minecraft dot jar but all you have to do here is highlight bin and resources oh bin and resources by themselves and copy and paste them into the jars file in mcp just like this now my computer is running a bit slow today it's not used to recording it's the first time i've recorded in quite a while so you might have to bear with me a couple times here. I will stop the recording if it's going to take a really long time but it's only 10 seconds here as it says so we'll just leave this to go. Now in the next episode I'll be showing you how to craft things, make your own crafting recipes and then the episode after that I'll show you how to make your own furnace crafting recipes and then maybe we'll move on a bit like in further episodes and show you how to create mod mobs I should say and your own tools and your own dimensions and you can basically do anything. So once you've copied and pasted your bin and resources file into the jars, all you have to do is open up decompile. Now it will work for lots of years. If it doesn't work, please comment down below saying what message is popping up on here and I will try my best to help you all. Now this is going to take quite a while for me to do this, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the recording here and I'll start the recording back up once it's finished. So it will take a while so I'm just going to let you just relax while this happens so I'll be back when it's finished and guys welcome back now it did finish there and I pressed the recording key and obviously it's shut down because it says press any key to continue at the bottom but it does say halfway maybe three quarters of the way down the text server jar missing a button now just ignore that because we're not making a server mod here we're just making a single player mod so the next step in installing MCP since we've done all the decompiling all you have to do is open up your editing software of your own choice mine's edit rocket and we're going to set it up with Minecraft Coder Pack sorry about that it's had a little bit of a yawn sometimes this edit rocket does take a little bit to load up if it's the first time you're loading it up which is like the second for mine now I am using the trial just because I just got it today so it's a lot easier so what you want to do in Edit Rocket, I will do a tutorial for Eclipse in the future if anyone wants to know how to use Eclipse to do it. All you have to do here is go on to File System, delete the app data and type in Desktop if that's what your MCP folder's location is. Open up MCP, open up SRC which stands for Source, then Minecraft, then Net, then Minecraft, then Source and then you should get when it loads, it will take a small amount of time to load this as well because it's got lots of files 
it will show you all the Java files which Minecraft has inside it. Now these you can edit and then these will have all the crafting recipes in and such. Like here you go, so we could open up say I'll go down the crafting recipes and I'll won't show you what to do because that's for the next episode but I'll just show you how you open them up so crafting manager here we go double click on it it'll open it up and then you'll see all this stuff which I don't know if you understand or you don't understand but certainly I don't understand half of it but this is it so it will get complicated down the line now I'm in case some of you are wondering which probably some of you aren't but some of you might be if you're more advanced with Java the we're not actually using mod loader for this so the mods won't be very compatible so you probably shouldn't give them to your friends yet but after two or three tutorials without mod loader we'll definitely get into the more advanced stuff with mod loader maybe we'll add in some mods for feed the beast maybe we'll have a open up feed the beast we won't edit the mods we'll just have a look at them and see what the code is and see how they did it all and just see generally how they created the mods where they got their ideas from so if you guys are interested in that please just tell us but now this is the end of the setup tutorial so if you did enjoy it please like now remember this is the start and it will get more entertaining and more fun later on if you are doing the coding along with me so thanks everyone for watching and I hope you guys enjoy making mods with MCP. Have a good day.